ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. At ako po si OJ Serkinia, and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We searched all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Dito sa K-Check, titingnan natin kung gaano katalas at katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan ng check sa araw na ito. Zen is a fourth-year BA Political Science student at the UP Diliman. This Pangasinense has gone through all the academic strands, is a queer gender advocate, and a standard ballroom dancer. Si JM naman ay isang second-year BS Chemical Engineering student ng UP Diliman na noon pa man ay mahilig ng sumale sa mga quizbee at academic contests. He says he prefers cats over dogs. Hmm, I wonder why. Nika is a singer, actor, and science instructor who loved joining quiz bees in her early years. And last but not least, Paul is currently taking BS Mechanical Engineering in UP Diliman and is already in his fourth year. He dislikes prob sets. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's k -Check panel of experts. First is Professor Wendell Kapili of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Second is Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And finally, Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's, Let's begin. begin! The Paramian round, also known as the easy round. Zen, in what sport would you aim for a spare on your second bowl? Pole vault. Mane, the correct answer is bowling. JM, in math, what is the fraction three-fourths in decimal form? 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Okay, check. Nika, which Tondoborn patriot is known as the brains of the Katipunan? Bro, Emilio Jacinto. Emilio Jacinto. Okay, check. Paul, which great painter is the brother of General Antonio Luna? Juan Luna. Juan Luna. So we go back to Zen. In what popular board game can you pass go or go to jail? Monopoly. Monopoly? K check. JM. In math, what fraction in lowest terms is equal to 0.2? One fifth. One fifth. K check. Nika in basketball. How many points do you earn if you make three three-point shots? Nine. <laughs> Nine. Okay, check. <laughs> Paul, in math, the fraction one-fourth is how many percent? Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five. Okay, check. Back to Zen. The city of Tagbilaran is the capital of what province? Bohol. Bohol. Okay, check. JM, in what Olympic sport are there events like snatch and clean and jerk? Fencing. Fencing? Malay. The correct answer is weightlifting. Nika, Persian, Himalayan, and Siamese are popular breeds of what pet? Cats. Cats over dogs. <laughs> Kate Chen. And finally, Paul, in math, what is 60% as a fraction in lowest terms? 3 over 5. 
3 over 5 or 3 fifths K-check. And that's it for our first round, the K-check para mihan round. In fairness, merong nadapa dito sa round na to, ah. <laughs> But if you would notice, yung mga nadapa, nadapa sa sports questions. <laughs> Sino ba yun, Attorney Gabby? <laughs> si Zen at saka si JM nadapa sa mga questions tungkol sa fencing at saka bowling. Siguro masyadong nag-aaral itong mga to. Walang <laughs> sports in their spare time. Right. <laughs> But I, I'm wondering what our panel of experts, especially Professor Neil, thinks of our contestants so far. Professor Neil. Well, ang galing ng mga contestants nagpakitang gilas at nakakamangha kayang-kayang sagutin ang iba't ibang tanong maliban lang sa sports. So kailangan maging holistic, no? Kahit sports dapat binabasa at magaling sa general information at current events. Pero may tanong ako para kay Zen. Kadalasan sa K to 12, isang strand lang ang pinipili. Pwedeng STEM, pwedeng ABM, pwedeng UMS. So ang tanong ko, bakit ka dumaan sa iba't ibang academic strands bago pumasok sa UP? Um, yung sa UP po, um, uh, water ko talaga is yung humanities and social sciences. And so, I've gone through STEM and ABM. Tapos nung mag-UP na ako, sabi ko, hindi ako pwedeng maging bobo sa HUMS forever. So I took up political science. Siyempre, makarelate ako dyan kasi pareho kaming political science majors. Oo. Oh. Kaya pala magkasinggan na kayo, Attorney Gabby. Ay, <laughs> oo. Pero mas magaling ako sa sports kesa sa kanya. What about Paul? Itong si Paul, medyo naman problema ako dito eh. Ano naman ang problema mo sa prob sets, Paul? Um, wala naman pong problema sa pagsasagot ng problems. Pero hindi po yung type na student na sobrang masipag sa pagsasagot pero like prob sets it takes days or even weeks before siya masagutan so parang sobrang <laughs> hindi po siya kaya na, hindi like, naman kaya problems so. of the heart yun mukha <laughs> attorney problems of the heart pero mechanical engineering naman ang kurso ni Paul so i think kaya niyang pagsikhaya ng mga prob sets na iyan no so tuloy-tuloy ka lang Paul ngayon tingnan natin kung paano ba kayo Uh, nag-perform sa nakaraang round. Tignan natin ang current scores. Zen has 20 points, JM has 20 points, Nika has 30 points, and Paul has 30 points. Talagang neck-to-neck ang ating competition. And that is a very good way to start our show today, Attorney Gary. That's Gabby. right. And I'm sure while we were going through all of this, I'm sure yung mga viewers natin nakikisagot din yan. How so, did you go against our contestants, audience right. members? At ready na ba kayo for our Pabilisan Round, that's next, here on K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Zen with 20 points, JM with 20 points, Nika and Paul with 30 points each. So, Professor Ricky, meron ka bang katanungan para sa isa sa ating mga contestants? Sige, try po natin kay JM. O JM, bakit cats? Ayaw mo ng dogs? Uh, kasi feel ko po kapag nag-aalaga ng cats, mas low maintenance sila and mas mabait compared sa dogs. Okay. And kakayanin mo kaya ang Kem Eng? Yeah, as of now, parang nagdadalawang isip pero kakayanin. <laughs> nagdadalawang isip sa Kem Eng? Nanonood kaya ang kanyang mga professors, professors no? sa Kem Eng ngayon? Gusto niya ng low maintenance na alaga pero high maintenance ang kanyang course. No? <laughs> Match kaya yan sa Kem Eng. So abangan natin ang susunod na kabanata dito kay JM na to. Makikita so, natin, Attorney Gabby. <laughs> But in the meantime, We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. Question number one. 
what do you call the shimmering display of lights that appears in the northern hemisphere? JM? Aurora Borealis. What do you call the shimmering display of lights that appears in the northern hemisphere, which is commonly called the northern lights? JM, Aurora Borealis, k -check. Question number two. What is the title of Wes Craven and New Line Cinema's horror film franchise of nine movies that features Freddy Krueger? Answer, A Night on Elm Street. Question number three. In sports, the Kentucky Derby is one of the jewels of the Triple Crown. What are raced in the Kentucky Derby? Answer, horses. Question number four. In the news, what term for a prolonged period of abnormally low rainfall leading to a shortage of water has struck Europe this year? Zen? Heatwave. Malik. Answer, drought. Question number five. In the English system of measurement, what unit of distance is equal to 5,280 feet? Answer, mile. Question number six. Kaya niya. Which Chinese philosopher is known for his great work, Analex? Jaya. Confucius. Kechek, Jaya. Question number seven. Which Mission Impossible actor played the role of Hawkeye and Clint Barton in Marvel movies? Answer, Jeremy Renner. Question number nine. Kaya pa. The most expensive spice in the world comes from the flower of a crocus plant. What is its name? JM. Saffron. Saffron? Ketchup. Question number 10. Which 23 Grand Slam champion announced that she plans to bring her tennis career to an end in the near future? Paul? Serena Williams. Which 23 Grand Slam champion announced that she plans to bring her tennis career to an end in the near future following the 2022 U.S. Open? Paul? Serena Williams? Kate Question number 11. What Greek letter gives its name to a fan-shaped plane at the mouth of the river? JM. Delta. Delta? Kate JM. Final question for this round. Question number 12. Which U.S. president resigned in 1972 in the aftermath of the Watergate scandal? Bill Clinton. Nika. Bill Clinton. Mali. Answer? Richard Nixon. And that's it for our K-Check Pabilisan Round. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Attorney Gabby, mukhang oh. may umalagwa sa round na iyon. That's a very interesting round dahil merong isang umalagwa at lumitaw. What do you think of that round? What does umalagwa mean? But that's not the question. <laughs> Pero oo nga, it's kind of interesting kasi medyo malaki ang naging gap. But then again, it's never too late. Not at this point. But in any case, Professor Wendell, Ano, anong palagay mo sa ating mga contestants? What do you think of Watergate many decades later? Precisely. Baka gusto mong tanungin si Nika. Uh, Nika, do you plan to teach as a career or do you plan to do other things in the future? Uh, I, I actually love to te teach but I don't like to teach inside the classroom. I want it to be something fun and entertaining. So, I prefer a somewhat environment that's friendly. 
for the students. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, but I love to teach. I love teaching. So, yeah, teaching, Nika, I think that's a very good goal. Yes. As a teacher, I, I'm telling you, we need more people like you, right? But I hope that goal of doing well inside the classroom also translates in your scores. Let's do a <laughs> recap now. Zen has a total of 10 points. JM, umalagwa ka sa round na iyon with 100 points. Nika, you have 20 points. And Paul has 50 points. Oh, talagang iba-iba ang mga gaps sa mga points natin after this round. Pero may chance pang humabol ang hahabol. And at this point, it's still anyone's game. But this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! back as we near the end of today's challenges. As of now, we have Zen at 10 points, JM with 100, Nika with 20, and Paul with 50 points. We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round po na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's begin! And it's now time for our Pagalingan Challenge. Hindi lamang pagalingan ang sagot, pagalingan din ang tanong. First question, Professor Wendell. First question, what is the world's most visited museum? This historic landmark in Paris is the home of some of the best-known works of art. Zen? Louvre. Uh, this particular museum has Mona Lisa and Venus de, de, de Milo. And uh, it's the correct answer. Okay, check. The Louvre Museum. Okay, check. Okay, for our next question, Professor Ricky. What is the most electronegative element? JM? Radio. Paul? Helium. Isa ito sa mga halogens, ang chemical symbol ay F at pwede siyang mag-hydrogen bond with H. Ang tawag dito ay fluorine. Wow. Actually, I knew the answer but I could not answer. <laughs> so, thank you very much for that question, Professor Ricky. Our next question, Prof. Neil. What is the island northeast of Mindanao that serves as the surfing mecca of the Philippines. JM, Shargao Island. Bahagi ito ng probinsya ng Surigao del Norte sa Rio ng Caraga. Bago sumikat ang La Union, ito lang ang ultimate surfing destination ng bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay Shargao Kitchen. So we go on now. Again, Prof. Wendell. What stadium in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is known as the site of the formal declaration of the independence of the Federation of Malaya on 31 August 1957? The stadium is also the site of the proclamation of Malaysia on 16 September 1963. What is this stadium called? So, wala na kasagot. So, ang correct answer ay Merdeka or Stadium Merdeka. Kasi ako hindi pa ako pinapanganak noon, Professor Wendell. Dimis lalo na sila. <laughs> Prof. Ricky, next question. What do you call the ability of an organism to maintain the internal environment of the body within limits that allow it to survive? Nika. Homeostasis. Examples nito ay thermoregulation, 
Baroflex Blood Glucose Regulation. Ang tamang sagot ay homeostasis cage. Mahabol na si Nika. Ang hirap naman ang mga tanong ni Prof. Ricky. Prof. Neil. Which city hosted the first Olympics in Latin America? Zen? Rio de Janeiro. Malik? Yung sagot ni Zen, nangyari yun noong 2016. Yun yung pangalawang hosting ng isang Latin American country. Nangyari ang unang Olimpiada sa Latin America noong 1968. Ang tamang sagot ay Mexico City. You learn something new every day. Sabi kasi tama na ang sports-related questions. <laughs> Prof. Wendell, what do you have for us? So, hindi naman sports. We go to music. <laughs> In 1978, national artist for music, Ryan Kayabiab won the grand prize during the first Metro Manila Popular Music Festival and the 1978 Soul Song Festival for this song, originally interpreted by Haji Alejandro. What is the title of this song? Walang nakasagot. The correct answer is, um, kay ganda ng ating musika. I could have answered that question again. I should just be a contestant. <laughs> Prof. Ricky, next question. Okay, sa so math naman tayo. On the basis of the length of the sides, what are the three types of triangle under this category? JM, scalene, isosceles, equilateral. Okay, yung ibang types ay base sa internal angles. Yun yung ating acute, right, and obtuse. K-check, scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. <laughs> Prof. Ricky, meron bang oblivious angle? Prof. Neil, next question. What was the Spanish policy of requiring Filipinos to sell their products to the colonial government as a form of taxation? Nika. Bandala. Bukod sa tributo, isa tong bahagi ng sistema ng pagbubuwis ng mga Kastila. Ang tamang sagot ay bandala, KJ. Habol. Habol. And more opportunities for Habol, Prof. Wendo. Yes. Uh, music. Which American musical artist was ranked as the greatest woman in music by VH1 and as the greatest music video artist ever by MTV and Billboard? Rolling Stone also listed her as among its greatest artists and greatest songwriters of all time. Who is she? J.M. Taylor Smith. Mali. I'm gonna risk this, Beyonce. Mali pa rin. Oh. Zen, Madonna. Uh, isa siya sa pinakamagaling na, na singer and composer, pero siya ay actress din. And she's very famous for her role in Evita. The correct answer is Madonna. Kate Chan. Ricky. Isa pang mahirap na tanong galing sa'yo. Okay, sige. Try natin. <laughs> This law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Nika. First law of thermodynamics! <laughs> Dito sa topic na to, nag-discuss ng transfer of energy as heat, work, or matter transfer is the first law of thermodynamics or the law of conservation of energy. Sorry. Okay, check. Parang galit. Pagalingan din ang pag-press ng ating mga buzzer. Prof. Neil, what is our next exciting question? Okay, last question. What region is composed of provinces situated on Leyte and Samar Islands? JM, Region 8. Bahagi ng riyong ito ang, ang sumusunod ng mga probinsya. Northern Samar, Eastern Samar, Samar, Leyte, Southern Leyte, and Biliran. Ang tamang sagot ay Eastern Visayas or Region 8, k And that's it for our k -check Ultimate Pagalingan Round.
Congratulations to JM, our KCHET Daily winner, with a final score of 160 points. We will see JM again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks to Zen, Nika, and Paul for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendo, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is OJ Sardinia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.